David? David? Dr. Olson? Dr. Olson? He's coming, too. I'm Dr. Olson. You've been in a coma for two days. There was an accident at the plant. The other man, how... Uh, how is he? Mr. Tucker's just fine. He's been practically camped out in our waiting room to see how you were. You can see him tomorrow. Are you in pain? Tinnitus. You have a ringing in your ears? Yes. You've had a massive electrical trauma. We've taken tests and we'll know more tomorrow. Now you've got to rest. Good morning, David. How's it tonight? Well, it uh, comes and goes. You surprised me yesterday. The medical jargon. Oh, well, I, uh, I used to work in a medical library. You may wind up in one again. Your case is one for the books. One, you're alive, and two, you show none of the corollary symptoms of severe electrical trauma. Then my heart is functioning normally. And your resistance is normal also. Plus, there's no evidence of brain damage. You must be made of pretty stern stuff. Pretty interesting stuff. I've never seen anything like it. I'm out of danger. Physically, there's nothing much to worry about. But we always have to watch for other complications in cases like yours. I'm sorry, I don't follow. We know from your EEG that your brain was abnormally active during the coma. We ran a spinal tap the first day, and it revealed an inordinate quantity of phenylethylamine. Now, this is not harmful in itself. But it's sometimes an indication of other problems. Psychological problems? Yes. It's associated with a tendency to split personality syndrome. Have you ever suspected anything like that? I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm a neurologist. But uh, you might consider... May I leave the hospital today? I'd rather you stay a few days. You shouldn't be on your own. Why not? The plain truth is we really know very little about the psychological side effects of deep shock. You shouldn't be unduly concerned, but there is a possibility of emotional reaction. You might find yourself suddenly crying for no reason. And a few cases have even reported hallucinations. Is there someone you could stay with? Sure there is. He'll stay with me. How's it going? I'll keep an eye on him, Duff. Okay. That makes me feel a little better about releasing him. I'll get the paperwork started. Thank you. Hey. You're looking good. Uh, thank you. How are you feeling? Well, you can't keep a good man down. Hey, listen, uh, I'm not used to apologizing. Oh, come on, please. No, no, I, I've got please. to say this. You know, I was out of line the other day. Well, I, I used you to make a point to the other guys. Now, that ain't right. OK. But you don't have to take me in. Well, you stuck by me, even though you could have split. You know, I owe you. Let's just say that we were both lucky. And anyway, I have my own place. What's up? Hey, Doc! David, the tinnitus again? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Doc, tell him he's got to stay with me. David, 
I can't stress too strongly the importance of your not being alone at this time. Now, either that or you stay here. Come on, buddy. What do you say? Thank you.